what is up guys how is everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome make sure you're subscribed so you know when all of my future readings come out this is going to be a general reading it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force it to fit your situation if you would like a personal all that information is in the description box okay so let's get right to this um i'm channel i now y'all know i channel energy through music a lot okay and it was like I had a dream, and when I have a dream, it means something. And I'm like at a like a bar with a jukebox, right? And the song is playing in the background. And then I get up and I'm shuffling and I'm channeling and I'm listening to music on Pandora, and bam, the song comes on. And y'all don't laugh at me, okay? Because um we've all heard it. It's an old song. It's that song, um, I'm a bitch, I'm a lover, I'm a child, I'm a mother, I'm a sinner, I'm a saint, I do not feel ashamed, I'm your hell, I'm your dreams, I'm nothing in between, you know you wouldn't, okay, we all know it, right, you know you wouldn't want it any other way, so that's how I know, I'm like, this. there's something going on with this energy, okay, because it's like, we have a divine feminine energy who stands in their energy like they don't give a damn. I'm a bitch. I'm a lover. I'm a child. I'm a mother. I'm a sinner. I'm a saint. And I am not ashamed. I'm your hell and I'm your dreams. I'm nothing in between. Take me as I am is pretty much what it is. And it's almost like they're dealing with a divine masculine because the part that stuck out to me, because, you know, of course, we've all heard that song. So we, well, me personally, I only know kind of like those lyrics because we've heard them in movies and shit, right? So I listened to the song like uh, three or four times, right? And the part that stuck out to me was the part where she says, you know, so take me as I am. This may mean you'll have to be a better man, be a stronger man. Like, so, you know, she's saying just take me as I am, but this may mean that you will have to be a stronger man. So it's almost like somebody standing in their divine feminine energy and this masculine knows that if they want to be with this empress, that they're going to have to become this stronger man for her because she's everything balled up in one. You know, I'm your hell and your dreams. I'm nothing in between. Don't play with me, right? And then she said, because rest assured that when I start to make you nervous, and I'm going to the extremes, tomorrow will change, and today won't mean a thing, okay, so she's saying, like, you know, when I start to make you nervous, because you're actually wanting to settle down, and I'm standing in my, I, I might go to the extreme, I might act the fuck out, but that's me being me, you know, in the first verse, it's just kind of like, she says she loves the world, but he treats, I mean, she hates the world, but he treats her good, like, she just can't help the way she is, you know, and so it's almost kind of like, there's an energy, a feminine, that's standing in their empress energy, not giving a fuck, and telling a masculine, like, look, you're going to have to, I'm not changing, and you're just going to have to be a stronger man if you want to be with me. I might go to the extremes at times, but that's because, shit, I, I demand my respect, and I know what I want out of, out of life, okay? And you are. I feel like somebody here, like, if there's a divine feminine watching, like, you're this person's hell and this person's dreams. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, the hell means that you're making this person level up. Because the song says, you know, so take me as I am, but this may mean you'll have to be a stronger man. Do you want me? Because I'm not going to change or be anything that I'm not supposed to be to be with you. You know, you're going to have to level up here. I'm a bitch. I'm a lover. I'm a, hey, okay. Oh my gosh, this came out before I started the reading, like four freaking times. So yeah, somebody stuck on somebody, okay? I don't know if this is like, let's get some more cards. The Eight of Swords, somebody feeling stuck, definitely mentally all up in their head, stuck on something or a situation. Yeah, Four of Cups, somebody could have gotten rejected here, okay? And this is because, you know, it goes from the Three of Cups to the Four of Cups. So it's almost like, you know, it went from a very happy time. Um, but then there could have been like 
other people involved, other situations involved, and it went to the Four of Cups, which is like rejection, boredom. Somebody wasn't seeing what a divine connection this could have been because, you know, in the original tarot, it's like the divine is handing a masculine a cup, right? It's coming straight from the divine, but he's looking down. He does, he at focusing on three other cups. He's failing to see how beautiful um, this one cup is that the divine is handing them, you know? So it's almost like somebody was so focused on um, other energies or other things around them that they in turn got themselves rejected, blocked, cut off. Okay, um, this is one of those people that like to like chase the thrill and now this person is sitting in their energy like damn, feeling stuck all up in their head about you in this situation. Thinking damn, I gotta, yeah, I'm gonna have to become a stronger man to deal with her. Yeah, this person is definitely thinking about a new beginning, but worried that somebody else is going to, like, they're, this person's worried that you're just going to say, you know what, fuck it, I've had enough, I'm going to just start anew, I'm just not going to look back, I don't care, you know, I'm just going to go, you know, go see what else is out there, and I feel like whoever you're dealing with is definitely stuck on the fact that they want this new beginning with you, but it's almost like they want to start completely over and act like nothing has happened in the past. And it's all, and it's like, yeah, Knight of Cups, this person is definitely wanting to come towards you and make you an offer. This is somebody that follows their heart. They're finally doing what's best for them. But I feel like this could be something that you're wor that they're worried about you doing too. Is you, you know, finally following your heart and saying, you know what, I've had enough. I'm going to do what's best for me. And I'm going to go uh, offer my cup elsewhere to somebody more deserving. Okay. And so that could be definitely a worry that's going on within this person. Because the fool is out here. This person wants a new beginning, but the way he's sitting next to this card, overthinking, looking sad and lost in thought, and the way she has her back turned on, on him and, like, ready to take that leap of faith and do her own thing has me feeling like this is something that he's more worried about is her. This, you know, he wants the new beginning, but he's scared that she's turning her back and rejecting this with the Four of Cups and wanting to move forward. But I feel like there's a heavy energy where the two of you are kind of stuck on each other um, energetically, okay? Y'all could probably hear Red out there. She got in trouble, so her dad um, tied her ass up this morning. Chewing up, knocking over garbage cans and chewing up trash. Okay, so here we go. We got the hangman. Um... So this, this is definitely an energy of somebody that just is waiting on the situation to blow itself over. You see how these leaves are blowing behind them, okay? This person is spying on you. They could be trying to communicate from afar. They could be tech, y'all could be text messaging back and forth, writing back and forth, okay? Um, but it's more like, um, not actual communication, like, vo where they, you could hear their voice, okay? Okay? But definitely somebody that's like in a very uncomfortable situation, they're very not happy, but they're waiting on it to blow over because those leaves are just blowing through there. Yeah, because somebody is moving towards success and happiness. This Divine Feminine is moving straight towards success, happiness. It's almost like, you know, this person that rejected you in the past and had you feeling stuck on them for so long. It's almost like somebody is feeling like, what's the word? Something he ate <laughs> you know, like liberated. There it is. Okay. It's like somebody's feeling liberated because it's like, you're not stuck on this person. Like you used to be anymore. You think about them, but they're not, they're not consuming your energy anymore. Like they did at one time, like somebody's ready to move forward and be happy. And I feel like that has somebody feeling very liberated and very happy that they're not so stuck on this person anymore. It's almost like they left them in that energy and left them to deal with that shit. But now this masculine, it's like, they know that you're moving forward and that good things are coming toward, towards you. And 
they're definitely regretting it. Now it's like the shoes on the other foot. Now where they were just moving on with life happily acting like, you know, and you were stuck and having to pull your pl yourself out of this dark place. Now that you're not stuck on them anymore, now it's like they are now in this dark place where they feel stuck on you. And they don't know how to get out of this dark place. You know, see how karma will turn it around on you and really slap you in in your eye? Let's not talk about slapping, y'all. Okay, the magician. Yeah, this person is definitely trying to man manifest you back into their life. There's somebody trying to, trying to manifest somebody here. And this person might come in and they might try to say, you know, I can give you... Because the magician, he has all four of the symbols on his card. It's almost like he can offer you the world. He'll, he can say he'll offer you the world, but the magician's also like a trickster, right? He's in and out. Poof, he can make you all these promises and give you everything. And then, bam, he could be gone again, leaving you in this energy of like, damn, what the fuck, right? But this person is trying, because you're trying to manifest, I feel like in your, the feminine here is trying to manifest a new beginning, is trying to uh, just take that leap of faith and say, fuck the past, is trying to manifest success and happiness, you know? Whereas this masculine now in this energy is try because you know this feminine she's faced towards success the success card manifestations you know manifesting good things in her life while this masculine is now in this energy of feeling stuck with the four of cups and the eight of swords this person is feeling stuck they're stagnant you know and they're trying to manifest you back because your life is at the you're at the point where it's like okay I'm moving forward with or without you yeah, Seven of Pentacles. Somebody really put a lot of work into this situation, okay? And they didn't get a lot out of it. It's like I gave and I gave and I gave. And it's like I got nothing in return. And it's almost like, you know, Spirit says they don't want you to dwell on how much time and money and whatever you invested into this person, energy, etc., right? Because it's almost like the universe is about to bless you a, in abundantly in other ways for everything that you dealt with with this person okay and it's almost like somebody it's like spirit is proud of you for moving forward and not looking back and kind of being like you know what i want to manifest happen because if this is your twin flame right if this is your person you moving forward and manifesting better and success in your life is going to cause your twin flame to move forward. If you're staying stagnant, they're staying stagnant. I, I, I say this all the time. But if you're moving forward, this will push your true twin flame, divine masculine to also start moving towards success, towards happiness, towards building himself so the two of you can come into an alignment. That's, that's what this is about, okay? And so what's happening here is I feel like as you're manifesting better in your life and you're moving forward, it's causing this masculine to really wake up and start motherfucking progressing in his life to catch up to you. Because that song, right, this means you'll have to be a stronger man. Take me as I am, it means you'll have to be a stronger man. They're going to have to level up to be with somebody that's as powerful and amazing as you. Because I feel like you have something coming toward you that's going to be very successful. Or you can't could already be a very successful woman or man that embodies a feminine energy, right? And I feel like, you know, to, to be, the fact that you're so... You, whether you have success coming to you or that you're already very, very successful, it's like this person has to, I feel like you're not worried about money when it comes to this person because love is really what matters and that's a good thing. But at the same time, you don't want somebody that's just hanging on to you riding your coattails because they see um, the success that's going to be coming into your life, right? So it's almost like, all right, this person really needs to level up and want better for themselves because we'll never come into alignment, you know? A power, you're supposed to be a power couple as a twin flame. So with, the, you know, you being a power, power femme and they're uh, in their karmic masculine energy, it'll never balance out. So you striving for more is causing them to strive for more, okay? Tiff, shut up and stop talking and draw more cords. Damn. That's all y'all got to say. I'm a Leo. I can't help it. Okay? 
Heavy Leo, Heavy Cancer. Damn it. Let's see. Spirit, ancestors, and guides. Can we get clarification on this Eight of Swords? The star. They're stuck on the star. There's something like, I'm telling you, you're already successful or there's something that is coming into your life that's going to make you a very success, successful feminine. And it's like this person has hope, okay, for a bright future with you. They're still hanging on to the fact that there can be a new beginning with you. This for a cup spirit. Ace of Cups, see? Holding on to this new beginning in love with you. That's exactly what they're doing. To clarify this Four of Cups, when they're sitting back bored, they feel rejected. You know, what they're thinking about is this new beginning with you. They're stuck, lost in translation. You coming in as the star, okay? Aquarius energy. Mm -hmm. Them wanting this new beginning in love with you. Let's see about this full spirit. The devil, the hanged man again, the seven of cups. Mm. So this person could have kept you from moving on for quite some time. This person definitely had options in the past and it's almost like they treated you as an option or it's like they weren't ready because they were trying to outweigh their options or something here. Yeah, they definitely tried to have you waiting, okay, with the hanged man and the seven of cups, right? While they outweighed all these options that they had and they tried to hold on to you, you know, they could have like given you money or you could have been giving them money or this per person could have been coming through putting that thing on you really, really good, you know, putting that heavy sexual energy on you to keep you um, hanging on to them so you didn't fully let go and move forward and take that leap of faith and just start over. There was something in this energy where they were trying to keep you hanging on, okay? Definitely dealing with karmic energies here, okay? Because there was options and they kept you waiting. And what they were doing was trying to keep you from moving on with that full card being there. Starting anew. We got this six of wands. Ten of Swords. But it's like as soon as you end it, yeah, the Lover's card, the Ace of Wands, Dad, yeah, this soulmate energy definitely wants a new beginning with you. They definitely want this passionate new beginning with you. If you guys are abstinent right now, they're definitely missing you in that energy. Very passionate towards you. Um, soulmate energy. They have to make a choice though, okay? And I feel like somebody chose here to end it with their soulmate with this twin flame energy because it's like they wanted this passionate new beginning. They want to be happy. They want to be successful and it's just too much. There could have been some times where you were just laying in the bed waiting on a text, waiting on a call, you know, looking at your phone and nothing was coming through. And so it's like you came out of this dark place on your own and it could have been you that if since they didn't s decide, you finally made the decision that you want passion, you want to feel that life again, and you want to be successful so you're moving forward. Seven of Pentacles again. Yeah, this person's definitely like trying to manifest you back. Definitely, yeah, this is your twin flame. 1111, that soulmate, twin flame, divine masculine energy. And the thing is, it's like they're going to try to lure you back in by saying, you know, everything we done been through, the memories, this and that. But it's almost like <clears throat> this is your twin flame. But Spirit is saying, don't let this person come in if they haven't done any of the work to progress in life okay because what they'll do yeah spirit come through is they'll suck your energy dry again with that tower it's like they'll come through things will be good and then bam everything's gonna because it's once again you're building a relationship on a faulty foundation it's not gonna work until they've done what it takes i feel like this person's definitely learning lessons now that's why they're stuck in this energy this eight of swords four of cups energy just steadily thinking about this star and this new beginning Yeah, definite transformations coming through. Spirit wants you to be strong because this person's walking away from something and walking into their emperor energy, right? It's definitely destined to happen. But there's going to be a sense of mourning, a sense of loss at times, okay? It's going to take a lot of time. But Spirit is saying what you don't see coming is a lot of happiness 
after a time where you felt like there was a lot of things being kept from you reconciliation apology coming healing coming in for the two of you yeah because i think ultimately you definitely feel stuck on this person too even though you want to move on and even though you're confident moving on there's still that energy that comes from time to time where it's like you you know you think about them you miss them okay all right that's what i have for you guys if that resonates at all comment below let me know until next time loves peace